Hey everybody, Tag Life Done Free. Have you ever heard the saying, be careful what you ask for? You might just get it. Well, I think B just got it. Come on, let's check it out. What are you doing? What is that? Uh, ants or something. What is this? Is this a real? Is this a tree? Where'd you get this? This comes out of our pond. I'm gonna whittle it down with my carving knives and make some door handles. No, you're not. <laughs> Where'd you get this? How'd you get it this in here? This is a big cedar tree that came down and I carried it in here. What do you mean how I got it in here? I wished it. No way. This is freaking heavy. Yeah, I know, right? I know. What do you what is it? In, what do you do with well, it? Remember how I told you that I wanted to make our uh, when I was doing the stairs, I was going to do something a little natural. Yeah. So this is going to be right here. This is going to be the pillar that holds the rail for the stairs. I thought you meant you were taking a tree and making the rail out of it. I am. Here's a tree. I'm going to support the rail with the tree. And then the rails I'll make out of trees too. The part that you put your hand on? Yeah. That's what I thought you meant. Yeah. I'm going to do both. Well, that'll... That'll be pretty. Oh, it'll be gorgeous. Look at this board. Look at this log. You know, it's cedar, so a couple things you got to really worry about. You know, you got to get all of this bark out of here. And um, so this will take a little while to get, you know, to get all clean. But once it's done, it will be absolutely gorgeous. And uh, you guys have seen my cedar live edge desk upstairs in my office. And I don't know if I've ever shown you the rocking chair I built or the table or whatever, but I like this kind of stuff. So this is going to be the rail support in our bedroom. How tall is this? 11 foot 4 right now. And how tall do you need it? Uh, I need it about 10 foot 6. And how are you going to cut it? With the chainsaw. But I won't cut the top off. The only thing i got to cut is you come down here and look with it. You cut it off with a chainsaw. The bottom, yeah, how are you gonna the bottom's not very flat. So i got to come in here. i got to figure out what flat is. And i got to take the chainsaw and cut it back off again. Um, but it'll work out good. Look at that. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Look at all that. All natural, right? Just like is... you. <laughs> Just like you, all natural. That is really cool. The reason why I'm, deal I'm dealing with it now is because, as you can see, I started putting some drywall up. And uh, really, for me, it's about sometimes I like to just change what I'm doing because I get bored with what I'm doing. But I'm getting to a point now where I got to get this rail up in the ceiling so that I can brace it appropriately before I put the drywall in. So I need to get this in so I can finish doing the drywall. Uh, B and I are talking about doing another one over here, but I don't know if we'll do it or not. Well, I guess I'm talking about doing another one. Yeah, over. you mentioned something about it, but I didn't actually know what you meant. Yeah. Well, so yeah. you're putting a tree there. You wanted to put a tree over by the entertainment center as well. I may. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll get this one up and be so tired of cleaning wood and getting it all ready to go that I won't want to do it anymore. I'm glad you're not just sitting around. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the one who's always on vacation. You know what's funny? Oh, look at that. Ants? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made them mad. They've got something going on down in there. Look at that. Oh, well. Now what? What do you mean, now what? What's in there? Oh, now I'm just going to piss them off more. All right. They decided they wanted to create a nest in my tree that I cut down. What's so cool about this tree is this came out of the center of that pond that we were digging. So this, and this was been on the ground for about a year. And so it ought to be pretty good and dry. Well, you can tell the cracks in the bottom. Doesn't yeah. that say it's drying? It ought, be, it ought to be all right. Well, 
And you're like, why don't you come over here and clean this and let me get back to work? I didn't even know what you were doing. I was painting. I was checking on the paint from the processing kitchen. Mm. And I actually thought you were going to be sitting around. Yeah. I did a lot. Drywall looks nice. Yeah, I'd be cool to get it all in. I'm not, I'm not a drywall. I need to get more, but... How come you have only three lights working? Because we're on different switches. Right? And we do this for a reason. So, oh. like those two are on that one. That way, when you're coming in this door, you have access to a couple lights. And then the same thing on this side is I put wired the other two over here. And this has mainly to do with the fact that I'm off grid. And so because I'm off grid, I have to worry about power consumption. So if I don't need all of the lights, I have the option to run just a couple I think these are 10 watts. Is that right, 10 watts? So I can just run 20 watts and have lights. I thought they were eight. Maybe they're eight, I don't remember, but. Um, so yeah, just give me some some options and lights where I don't have to turn it all on. If you I have to think of everything. What's that? You have, when you said like those are running, those two run over there, these two run over here. You have to think of this all ahead of time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And actually, believe it or not, that what, what B's talking about right there might be the hardest part. You know, like I'll give you an example this morning, I was working and I was drywalling this corner up here and I remembered I didn't put the security cameras in. So I actually had to take a piece of drywall down so that I could run the security to that corner. Oh, yep, got the sales of those black, black lines. black lines up there. Yep, so I had to drop a piece and then run the security lines just because I just spaced it. And then they'll pop out onto the, out here. Yep. Wonderful. Glad you thought of that already. Yeah. So do you have a blueprint? In my head. Who needs a stinking blueprint? I have B. And what I have B is she is definitely can be a critic. And so when I ask her how she wants something done, she says, tells me, and because I speak B, I can interpret that from her mouth to the hammer, the screwdriver, and the saw. So it actually comes out. To what she wants. How'd you I'm like? Did you like that answer? I'm so lucky. You are so lucky. All right. I guess I'll go do something. Yeah, that'd be a first. For a second. <laughs> Come on now. I am kind of hungry. Maybe I'll just go get something to eat. So I heard a bunch of noise out here. What were you doing? Uh -huh. I'm on mm -hmm. vacation. Look at the color of that. Beautiful. It smells delightful. Yep. Good job. Pretty straight. Yeah, we'll see how straight it is. So this is where I gotta get it kind of trimmed up. And... Yeah, it's still kind of wonky right there. Yeah. Not, not horrible, but see right there? Yeah. So I'm not quite back far enough. So what we got to do is we got to take another, oh, uh, what would you say that is right there? Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. Off of the thing all the way around. Mm-hmm. Or you could just put that in the back. No, let's just make it right. All right. So we're stripping the bark off, and I just thought I'd show you guys. If you look down in here, you can see this bark in here it's really important to get it all off and I don't need this thing to be finished when I put it up but I got to get most of this bark off there so it actually comes off this again if they've been sitting a little while it comes off pretty easy okay. bark and just clean it out and off we go look at that you don't go way back in there yeah so I can cut that out of there stand this up and this is going to be hard to get this I can cut that stuff look at that, that. Yeah, this little. Can you explain what we're doing? No, baby, I'm hot. You don't want to explain it? Hmm? I got water on my upper lip. You do? Yeah, I'm hot. Mm. Not... So since she don't want to explain it, basically what we're doing is we're stripping the bark off, trying to get it, you know, 50% clean, um, and then I'll stand it, get it in place. Um, so I know that where I gotta cut it, where I gotta, you know, just whatever it is I have to do 
and then uh, once we get it in place we'll do the we'll come in here and sand it all and clean it up all real good and and uh, put some polyurethane on it but I finally got B off of vacation so cedar log number two this is what it looks like uh, tip it down clean it off put it up and we'll be done Hey B. Hey. So tell me why you wanted a pole in your bedroom. Well that's, this isn't exactly what I was thinking. You were thinking? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a four by four, like square. Not, so, not a tree. But you did want a pole in the bedroom. Yes, well I wanted it to support the rail here. Oh, but This rail here. That's what I said. I thought that you were making a cedar rail like here mm -hmm. this is not what I had envisioned do you think you didn't give me very good directions no <laughs> no I think that you <laughs> you're just very you're a lot more creative than I am mm -hmm. but what do you think how cool is it that I it's beautiful it's dirty it's dirty yeah you have made quite a mess on the floor <laughs> You know, I'm tired of cleaning up your messes all the time. Ah, touche. <laughs> Ditto? We just clean up each other's messes? No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't clean up each other's messes? No. Oh. oh, wait. Yes, I take that back. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have made a mess that you had to clean up. Okay. Glad you recognize this. Ah. Uh... Well, I can't really figure out whether... B likes it or doesn't like it, loves it or hates it. But uh, at the end of the day, the lesson here is make sure you give your spouse good specific directions or you might end up with a tree in your bedroom.